Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznas here, and today's video is going to be a Chaos Elemental boss guide. Now, the Chaos Elemental is a boss located in the wilderness. The Chaos Elemental boss is one of the oldest bosses in RuneScape and sits at level 305 with 17,250 life points. The Chaos Elemental does have its own boss collection log needed for the insane final boss title and the Golden Reaper title, and is mostly done for the boss pet Ellie, which is obtained by getting a Rib of Chaos drop from the Chaos Elemental which has a base drop rate of 1 in 2500 and a threshold of 500. So in terms of difficulty, the Chaos Elemental is pretty easy to kill. With only 17,000 life points, you should be able to kill the Chaos Elemental in a matter of 5 to 10 seconds. This means that the Chaos Elemental pet is one of the fastest boss pets to get as you can kill the Chaos Elemental extremely fast as mentioned before. The real danger, however, is the fact that the Chaos Elemental is located in level 50 plus wilderness, which means it's going to be very hard to escape if you're found by PKers. In terms of drops for the Chaos Elemental, the common drops that are worth the most are the Chaos Runes, Death Runes, and Blood Runes, which is where the main money will come from. And then the Dragon 2H Sword is another notable drop dropped at a 1 in 128 chance. However, the Chaos Elemental does have an extremely rare chance of dropping any of the Revenant items, even the Stadius Warhammer, which goes for well over 300 million. However, this is absolutely extremely rare and I wouldn't expect to get any of these items when you're killing the Chaos Elemental. So now we're going to get into the recommended requirements for killing the Chaos Elemental. So for killing the Chaos Elemental, you don't need any requirements to get started. However, I would recommend for killing it and farming it for the pet, you have at least 80 plus combat stats, tier 80 weapons, 92 prayer for soul split is extremely useful but not needed, and 96 Herblor is also very good for overloads, although like Soul Split, it's not needed to kill the boss. Alright guys, so now that we have the requirements out of the way, we are going to be looking at the gear setup. So the gear setup I went with is something cheap since we are going to be deep in the wilderness. And this is going to be so we can prevent risk if we die. Um, because there's not going to be much chance for us to escape easily that deep in the wilderness. So I went with full royal dehyde because it's super cheap at around 50k for the set. I then went with a glory as my amulet as it's cheap as well and provides a teleport from level 30 wilderness and below if needed. However, you can also use a phoenix necklace for extra protection against PKers. And if you don't want to use range, I do recommend it because Chaos Elemental is weak to it. You could use kind of the same thing but with Mystic. Um, but yeah, range is definitely recommended. Um, for my cape, I went with a skill cape. But honestly, you don't even need a cape if you don't want to bring one. And then for my weapon, I went with a Zarite bow. And the reason I went with a Zarite bow is because it has infinite ammo. And it's a tier 80 and it's also pretty cheap as far as weapons go at only about 8 million gp so if somehow i were to get scold which of course is very unlikely and then if i also somehow get smited or forgot to protect item while i'm scold which again is insanely unlikely then i'll only be out about 8 million gp instead of hundreds of mils this is a really cost effective setup and should work quite well for farming the Chaos Ellie with minimal risk if you were to die. Alright, so now we're going to go on to the inventory setup. Now I brought my Wilderness Sword as another quick teleport and it helps me get around the Wilderness easier um, and can help me find the Hellfire Bow in case I want to use that because that is also another option. Um, however, you don't need the Wilderness Sword, it's just something I like to bring. I also brought a Phoenix Necklace to tank PKers if we're attacked. 
I bring an overload, but you can bring an overload or any stat boosting potion just to make the kills faster. Um, you're going to need something to restore prayer. I brought super restores. Um, you're going to need it because we will be soul splitting most likely the entire time. Um, I brought a Fury Shark, which is an item dropped from Lava Strike Worms, and it will allow you to protect an extra item when eaten. This is for extra protection in case somehow you are scolded and smited. So if you eat a Fury Shark while scolded and smited, you'll protect one item even if you don't have protect item on. So it's another safety net there. Of course, you really don't need it. Uh, I brought Weapon Poison since the Chaos Elemental is poisonable. However, the kills are so fast, it's really just optional and it won't matter too much. Then I filled my inventory with Wild Pies. The food you bring is the most important part of this setup as the Chaos Elemental has an attack where it can take off some of your armor and weapons. However, if your inventory is full, then this attack won't do anything and it won't take off any of your armor and weapons. Therefore, bringing food such as summer pies or something like stew that leave behind bowls or pie dishes in your inventory is needed as this will keep your inventory full even when you eat food. I also brought a familiar with a bunch of summer pies in it, but this is also optional. You don't really need a familiar because your soul split will honestly heal you up a lot. All right, so now we're gonna go on to how to get to the Chaos Elemental. It's located in around level 50 wilderness near the Rose Castle. Uh, some easy ways to get here is you can go through the Wilderness Obelisk to get basically right there or you can go to Edgeville and pull the lever and then you can basically slash the web and just run over there. It really doesn't take too long to get there. So those are the most basic methods to get to the Chaos Elemental. Now in terms of killing the Chaos Elemental and mechanics, it's really simple. He only has 17,000 health so it's not going to take you too long to kill the Chaos Elemental. But as for the attacks, the Chaos Elemental's primary attack is a projectile attack and it is an orb of different colors. The attack can deal mage, range, or melee damage and you can't distinguish uh, what type of damage it is until the attack hits you of course. Um, the max hit is 1100. Um, it's suggested that you should use protect from magic as this hits the hardest but honestly guys just soul split if you have it um, you'll basically heal up a ton and you won't really feel the damage too much if you don't have soul split uh, though you should use protect magic and of course the chaos elemental has two special attacks so the chaos elemental will teleport you to a nearby area around 20 game squares away and the way i like to combat this is basically by just having auto retaliate on. So then if the chaos elemental teleports me away, um, I'll just continue attacking it. Um, however, you can keep this off and just click back and attack the chaos elemental again. And then the chaos elemental will also remove your weapons and up to three of your equipped items. But like we said, we're using the food to keep our inventory full at all times. So we have pie dishes uh, and bowls if we're eating stew, so our inventory stays full, so then the Chaos Elemental can't take off our weapons or armor. So there's basically nothing to it, you just DPS him down. It's really, really fast, and you can, you know, really get a ton of kills per hour and really get that pet threshold really, really fast. And of course, the threshold's 500 and the pet drop rate's 1 in 2500. So you, this is about a 10 to 20 hour pet, which is honestly insanely fast. And I really like the way this pet looks as well. So yeah, happy hunting guys. I hope this guide helped you out. Um, as for escaping PKers, uh, we're doing it so low risk that it really doesn't matter if you die. So I wouldn't really worry too much about that. Um, but yeah, if this guide helped you out, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe. We're so close to 8k. Uh, it would be amazing to hit that and uh, yeah thank you to all my channel members as always you can click the join button below or in the description uh, to join my channel membership support the channel uh, get a bunch of cool perks like exclusive discord rank uh, pvming with me live streams stuff like that um, so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, i will see you in the next video